Hey all, this is Earth, and welcome back to our huge Earth TSL starting Vladimir Ilyich Lenin uh, as we keep bringing the world revolution to everybody. Oh wow, that's not a good place for this night to be. I need him to get past that mountain range. I keep forgetting about that. Minor details. All right, we're, we're going to see this uh, musket take a bit of a ping, but we'll just pillage and move out, and it should be okay. If we can bait this guy in, that'd be fine too. I'm more or less okay with being able to annihilate him uh, readily. So that guy will be good for now. Worker. Yeah, we're going to keep working on this road up here. We finish, finally finish that. Uh, you, yep, you're gonna repair that. You're gonna repair that. These roads are done now, which is excellent. You're making a farm there. You're gonna make a farm down here once we get there. Uh, you are gonna make a farm there. Actually, do are, are we making a farm here in Ravenna? Ravenna is gonna be puppeted or not? I think we're gonna actually use Vic Ravenna as a production center, since Eridu is not uh, gonna be very contributive. It's going to stay pretty much a puppet. So Ravenna may be quite useful to have, depending on how much I steal from Toulouse. I don't know. We'll see. I'll make farms for now. If it ends up being a bad idea, I'll decide. Ravenna's doing okay. Uh, so more importantly, though, let's get Toulouse up and running. That's going to be kind of clutch. Let's do a farm, actually. Does it repair the farm? Yeah, good. You did that already. Got our Soviet workforces fast. Forest plains. So this will be a decent farm eventually. I'm pretty happy about these, too. This is nice. Flood plains, desert river. Booyah. This is going to be a farm, though, for sure. Uh, that's going to be another farm, so let's get a... Stop that. Worker farmer type guy, do that. Thank you. I'm glad we brought all these workers down here. This land will be ready to go shortly. Oh, look at this. Another guy. Go here. Look at this guy. All over. All over it. All right. Good job. Good job, warrior, defending me there. That's, that's honestly pretty noble of you, uh, knowing that certain death is coming for you with these high-tech units. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind giving me my embassy, buddy. I'm good. I should probably just march in with my muskets and take Luoyang, uh, then just so sieging this and letting him get his reinforcements back, but we will have to see uh, what that happens. If that really does become the prop, the most optimal course, uh, I will probably do that. But this is exactly the reason I want to take Sutkagandor. I don't want to have to worry about Western reinforcements, and that way I can just quickly give this to Harappa and not be such an asshole in the eyes of the entire known world at this point, and move on with our lives pretty well. But uh, we'll see We'll see what the Chinese throw at us right now. This is the important thing. What kind of reinforcements are they going to have uh, at their disposal? We're going to take a bit of a ping, 19, okay. So he has some trebs, but that's not exactly a defensive weapon. That's more of a offensive, hi there kind of weapon. This knight is on open terrain now, so he's going to be relatively easy to deal with. I don't particularly give a crap about this pike being here, uh, because I have march on this guy, and if he wants to hit me, by all means, I'll just heal it up and just kill him later. It's no big deal. Getting Luoyang down first, I think, is the priority. So we're going to do just that. <sighs> what else? Any new news? No. Friendship with Sumer has expired. That should be relatively easy to renew. Uh, he's pretty much in awe of my power and glory, so it should be more along the lines of, Yes, Master, I'll do whatever you wish. Or something along those lines. Slightly less creepy, probably, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? People, the pointiest sticks, Monty, and I am sitting at 72. I'm bigger, I have a bigger military than you does, which is important, I think. Um, let's come out here. We're going to keep filing over a little bit so we're more useful to us later. This guy can start doing his job of getting freaking logistics when I told him to. Excellent. Okay. So that knight's going to have to be dealt with uh, relatively promptly. I mean, do I deal with this pike right now? I really don't care. I may have to keep thinning the herd a little bit depending, but if there's nothing else coming in, I might as well just keep working on the city. Like I said, I have March, so I'm pretty much okay with this. So you keep filing this way, and then that's pretty much the end of my crossbow reinforcements. Alright, I don't want to put that other worker there quite yet, because he's going to get instantly taken. Good. You may have to sit here uh, until we can deal with that pike. Maybe that by killing that pike is a good idea. I don't know. I'm torn a little bit. Nothing's right, I'm torn. I'm all out of... No, no, I'm not. I'm all out of crossbows. <laughs> this is how I feel. And all that crazy, sorry. Natalie and Brilliant moment. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I have these moments, and I apologize. I just kind of spontaneously break into nonsensical music. It's, it's a problem I have. All right. Or a benefit, depending on who you ask. The opinions vary wildly. All right, kill you. Thank you. Pillage you. Heal up. Come here. Excellent. Come here. Uh, so this is cool. Now I'm kind of taking over 
We're taking over, baby. I could steal a worker, and that wouldn't be bad. A worker bait. But like I said, this this pike don't befriend me. Uh, as long as I get my money next Friday. And also, uh, he don't befriend me because I have Mart. So yeah, I'm going to let him try to take swings at that crossbow. If he gets annoying, I'll kill him, and then I'll go back. Right now, Luang is down to half, and that's big. Uh, if I need to move in here, I will. If I don't, I won't. But so far, so good. The Siege of Luyang is going pretty quick. Much faster than I expected, actually. Which is always nice. Hey there, Sumer. Sumer, Sumer. Ba, 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 ba. Joint Declaration of Friendship. <laughs> too, too many syllables! Sorry. Do you want iron? Oh, you do! Excellent! Oh, joy. Uh, give me two iron for, I guess, what would be two GPT. That's 90 plus 45, more or less. That's probably what it should be. Yes? Porque. Fine. Fine. Choconit. 1275 again. Who do I need as my ally now? I kind of want Kizil. 87. That's pretty easy to drop some money on. Though if I let Kizil be my ally, the Chinese are going to get really frisky with them. I'm a little concerned that Kizil may get taken. But then everyone would hate China, and that's nice. Because no one likes a person who takes city-states. That's like rule number one of politics in Civ 5. No one likes a dude who takes city-states. It'll be annoying if Kizil went against me. Let's, let's buy this off of... Um, leader has 12,000 in culture. My guess is Monty. We're friends already, so this should be relatively simple. 87, that would be... Yeah, that'd be enough for a, thousand, for a grand. A cool grand will do it. So let's do that. Let's do the protection. Let's give a gift of a grand. Give the gift of learning. Allies, now. Thank you. So, Kizil will keep trying to busy for a little bit. Or at least keep him off my back, and that's really the important thing. So many pikes, so little time. Steal some workers. Do good. Do good, my new ally. And cover my eastern flank. I really don't want to deal with the Chinese invasion. Okay. Crossbow's fine. This is why I love crossbows to have marks. They can sit there against pikemen and be like, ain't no thing. Uh, forest plains. Yeah, so this is definitely going to be a farm territory because I don't think I have enough really good arable land here. This is going to have to be a mine, unfortunately. This could be a really useful little deer tile. You're already working there, right? You need to you need to freaking make that a camp there, friend. That's going to be your job. Oh, what else? Yep, you're fine there. Oh, that's fine. So we're going to have to start moving these trucks a little closer. Now we're not worried about him calling on the war because he kind of already did that. Uh, set up. Yeah, once Luan comes in, we're going to just straight up balla in here. Just rush, rush, bum rush everything. And see if we can eliminate as many units as possible in as short a time as possible. So he doesn't have that reverse take. Because then it's going to be just a massively conflicted territory. I want to have at least a little bit of city strength left on that damn thing. And this is what the, where the road is going to really help. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. What else needs my attention? You do. I'm not going to steal that worker. It's not really worth it. Yep, you need to go up here, buddy. Oh, you can actually get by. Good. I didn't want to get blocked in by some dumbass con unit. Uh, you alert, I guess. Was, I always knew a decision available, but <laughs> Kiesel declared war on you. Normally I'd be really angry, but no, no, he declared war on you. That's just, that joke never seems to get old. What? Mm. That joke never seems to get old, as I'm trying to say, but I get interrupted a lot, it would seem. Okay, I can definitely uh, annex Luko now after this because it won't slow down my uh, ironworks much. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad I chained those golden ages. Tourism probably will not be our way to the future in either way. By the time we can use those artists for anything feasible, we don't have cathedrals or anything. So yeah, it's going to be a little while. Might as well use them for golden ages. I could save them, but... Uh, getting our infrastructure up is, is worth it in and of itself, I think. And especially with 369 gold per turn, thanks to the golden age, like it's just a ridiculous amount of money. Imagine if we had banks up and everything. Oh, I shudder to think how much damage we could do to um, to the national economy, meaning stealing everyone else's money. Okay, so he tried to kill my musket, which was dumb. Friends with Sumer? Yep. So this guy's being a little smart, I guess. Uh, we need to start picking at some of these units. That is going to hurt, probably. I need to reinforce my musket a little. Uh, killing this guy is going to be definitely worth it, though. And he can go try and hit my crossbows. I don't particularly care. Yep. Friends with Sumer. We are indeed. I kind of do want to move this guy up here. I'm a little worried that that'll slow me down more than it'll actually help. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm not I'm not sold. I'm not actually sold on that. Noyang is up at 40 now. They say Rush bought a castle. Yep, there it is. You asshole. All right. Well, we can still do it. It's just going to be a little longer and a little harder. 
Yeah, knights are a little annoying. Their mobility is truly vexing. Enemy is near. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Uh, we have... Oh uh, no. Never mind. Who grew? Who grew? Sorry, I didn't check this. Arhemar. Again, excellent. That's pretty much expected. They're kind of catching up and they have a lot of really good tiles to work with. Yep, keep doing that. Uh, yeah, let's get a little bit of production in while we're doing that. All right, didn't I tell you to do stuff? You need these orders. There we go. Now we talking. All right, this guy can probably survive this two-pronged humpty bump a little bit. Okay, so this guy can't hit the city, so that's pretty much perfect where the pikeman ended up. I need to be able to see what's going on, so the knight's probably going to do that for me. Yeah, two and two. Yep, so we're going to get vision. Anything else coming in? No, just that. Leong's doing good. I mean, bad, but that's good. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about, babe. All right, you're fine there. You're fine here. He has strategic research panel, a terrain modifier. Oh, you're an oasis, you dumbass. <laughs> All right, uh, that's fine. Let's do that. Kill him with one shot. Hit Leong with the other one, and we're down to red. So next turn, Leong could be mine. If I'm mispronouncing that again for my multitude of Mandarin viewers, I apologize. I'm sure there are so many of you, totally. Uh, <laughs> nope, but it's all right. It's okay, it's Emily. Uh, but yes, now we'll be able to take this Loyang pretty simply, and then we'll bum rush in, like I said. So this is going beautifully. Uh, new decisions again. Oh, tax reforms! I can get more money. I can get, I can get three thousand gold if I really felt like it. I technically could. That's that's pretty baller. But I I need my culture, I think, to get a little more science out of this. Because uh, once we get this, we're gonna get seventeen percent more from universities, and this number is gonna go boop. It's gonna be good. All right, so Ravenna, like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Ravenna yet, so I already did this. You repaired that. Damn, you guys work fast. Okay, you need to make a camp there, obviously, because that's not acceptable. Laziness is not acceptable to the Empire. Uh, yeah, make a farm there. Like I said, I'm not sure. You guys finished this already. God damn. Um, I think I probably need to make a mine over here. Replace that, because that works. Uh, wait, Apulon. Apulon is a money city, so maybe I shouldn't do that, actually. Don't do that. Change my mind. Yeah, Toulouse. Ah, we get, we get, ah, that's what we need to do. Repair some iron. Hey, Buckle, go here. Uh, that's fine. I gotta get all these tiles up to, well, we'll see. Well, Toulouse can only work these. That could technically be a farm, then. And Toulouse will be able to steal it once I annex it. That's pretty good. Anyway, the other good thing is now I can annex Luco y Desluceo. Yay. So you have a workshop and will harm me. Yes, I am sure about that. So, let's do this right. Uh, monument, then stoneworks. Then let's go courthouse, aqueduct, library, forge, market. We have a monastery here. He's going to give us what we want, wine and incense. Not really, and I'd rather save my faith for uh, the Jesuit education stuff, so let's not do that. I normally would, but let's not. Walls, and let's do a commissar's house, and that. Okay. Focus on production, and let's reallocate a little. Growing is good now that you're annexed. So we can steal these tiles and not starve out Novi View City. Yep, stagnation, which is what I wanted to see. Perfect. So Luko now has more tiles to work with, but this is, I think, just fine, excess allocation. It needs some production, and now it has it. Brilliant. Oh, we even have a workshop guy. Let's put you there. A little bit of cash during a golden age. Never hurt anybody. One turn for another person. Damn. Yeah, they reproduce like like bunny rabbits over there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, camp. Yep. And the gods are getting a little frisky, I gotta say. They're, they're putting some units down here I'm not too happy about. That's all right. Guys, Maris is keeping an eye on them, so they won't do anything. Nothing untoward. Uh, stay there. Stay there. So at least we're giving flanking bonuses everywhere, and that's important. Treb's like, I want to get into the war thing. You will soon. Knight. Yeah, you get back, bucko, like I said. Uh, we may need you yet. Uh, you are doing a farm, like I discussed. Next. And let's see what comes next. I mean, probably a bunch of stuff. He's going to, like, hoard a bunch of units in now that I can take Luoyang. But it's all right. Rush buying castles is annoying. It's what the AI always does when they're losing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can get castles and win. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You're my friend, right? You're my friend. You can tell me my friend. And this just gets really annoying. So, yeah. On the upshot, if I put the work out here and start building this, he tries to cap it with this guy, I can kill him and then cap it with my musket man, and it'll be none the, none the poorer for it. I wonder if he's actually going to abandon Luoyang. Wow, that was way too many syllables in that. I wonder if he's actually going to abandon Luoyang, or we're actually going to have to uh, really fight for it. We're about to see. 
see what's going to happen. Okay, we got hit. So he's trying to push against my musket line. He seems to think that's the uh, the dangerous bit of my military, and he's pretty much dead wrong. Uh, these guys are here in order to do exactly that and absorb punishment. And we'll be able to forestall any kind of musket annihilation uh, thanks to the diligent efforts of our crossbows. So, yay. But first and foremost, we got to take Luyang so we can move everything into the uh, the space of support and love. But this guy's really surrounded right now. It's kind of kind of concerning, actually. Kujum Khan declared war on Thunder del Thur. Really? You doubt the Dene? Why the hell would you do that? I mean, I guess they have one city, and he's like, free shots! But he can't even get there. I mean, he's not even on the same side of the planet and doesn't even have deep water fishing. Uh, yes, Kizil doing work, I gotta say. Kizil doing some serious work. Good on you, Kizil. You're a worthy ally. Uh, worthy Soviet ally. So, okay. Now what? Oh, shit. We've got some stuff to kill. Uh, we gotta protect our muskets just a teensy bit. But first things first, Lo Yang. Lo Yang. Uh, one... Okay, this is pretty much gone, so we have the city now. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to move this guy up here. Use this guy. To step forward one. Ping it. So we're a little more efficient. We're still filtering troops forward. Not you. You're moving forward. Probably onto the hill, honestly, to make this a little stronger. Yep. Then we're going to get that worker up here to do the road. That road is done. That road is done. We're going to need another worker up here to do the road, so that's all right. All right, this is the other problem. I don't have my general actually supporting that space, so that's all right. You go out here. You go out here. Thank you, Road. Honestly, that's really helping the movement a lot. Come out here, and then we start filtering in all the good, good stuff. Uh, go here. Excellent. Now, sorry, I, I almost forgot to take Luyang. There we go. Take Luyang. Pop it. All right. What do we got? Not much here, but it's the strategic position that's really the most important here. We have a university, though. It's not bad. And a Coliseum and a library. So really, all the big stuff is here. It's not going to be a huge city ever, because uh, it is in the middle of a freaking desert. And it's not uh, beyond Earth, where we have those cool like desert techs. So, yeah. That's not going to happen. But we can at least take some pressure off of our... Wow. <laughs> Speaking of taking pressure off, we took a crap ton of pressure off of him right now. All right, so we got to get this guy out of here somehow, because he's going to bite it if I don't. I could go here, but that's a danger. I could save him, though. He's not going to get killed by a swordsman. So that's all right. Let me do that, and I'm going to put this guy into the, unfortunately, flanked position. Uh, but that'll be all right. It's not like XCOM where flanking is suicide. Or rather, getting flanked is suicide. Um, oh, no, we could do this here. Give him a couple more targets to, to potentially fend for and take some pressure off everything else. All right, and then we're going to be able to really rush in with the roads. And then I'm probably going to go after Sudgathandor right away. As soon as we knock down some of these uh, defensive units that he's pulling through. Because this, like I guess is going to ease my western front a lot. He's not going to be able to rush by units and assault me. And that will make uh, my rep with Harappa even better. But they are still at war, are they not? not? I haven't lost a will to fight, so that's not what I wanted to do. You are still at war with Harappa, I do believe. You punk ass. Yes, you are. Excellent. Excellent. Is there anyone else who can bait into war with the Chinese? No one would really contribute, honestly. I mean, there's a couple people with some borders, but not really. Oh, there's the other uh, Tonga city next to the other Australian cities. So that's something, I guess. All right, we're going to get you moving the sec, Bucko. Same thing with you. Same thing with you, man. Uh, what are you going to do? Oh, God, I keep forgetting what many people do. You do that. Victoria Akum. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a farm, so we're going to reallocate that. You're not working that, Victoria Akum. No, you're not. Okay. So we're going to have to annex Toulouse as well, for obvious reasons. You have a workshop already, so annexation here is feasible. Thank you. And it's like, why are you losing all this happiness? We'll be fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then that. Uh, no, 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 that. Okay, cool. Call me in the morning. Take two of these and call me in the morning. All right. Now we need to reallocate you to production focus. And let's go, first of all, two in the university, because that's job one. You're not going to starve. Where are you? Okay, thank you. Now we're stagnated. Really, we have that little food here. Surprising that. But we'll have these farms up in a jiffy. Two shakes of a lamb's jiffy. Uh... Really? That's gonna that little food, huh? I guess this is the issue. I'm I'm working a four four uh four something tile. Right, I've been, uh, do you have any food that we can get you without you dying off on me? I guess sorta. Yeah, I don't think I can actually feasibly keep Ravenna afloat 
I think I'm going to leave that as a puppet as well. That'll make, weaken this empire side a little bit. It's not a water production city, so it's not going to help. And like I said, Eddie's not going to do crap. I don't need any navy in here. So Toulouse, I think, makes sense. Apulon doesn't make sense as well, but I think I'm going to be a good production center too. So that makes sense. I'm going to leave all these as puppets, basically. The decision has been made. It has been taken. Uh, you actually working? Oh, Apulon is working that. If I move this away, what will you do? I guess you just work at the university or something. Probably. Yeah, let me steal that, and that may... Is that going to actually help me at all? That will be food anyway. Yeah, Toulouse is going to be a little bit of a food issue, but I should be all right. Let's bring you... The production is nice for now. Let's lock down these tiles, and until we get those farms up, I won't change it. But i got to remember to do that. Because once we can start relocating some of these into these tiles, they'll all be good. Better than the uh, coast tiles. Are you doing a farm? You're doing a farm. You're not doing a farm yet, but you are now. And one, two, three. So I can't use this with anything. So this is actually gonna, probably going to be, be better served as a trading post, I think. Yeah, let's just wait a second. We're definitely going to chop, but what are we going to turn this into? A mine or a trading? Probably trading post. It's not going to be workable by Toulouse, and Ravenna is now officially going to be puppeted, now that we know that. Yay, back to my lands. Nice, okay. So, I may probably need to go south of this guy. I'm running a little low on frontliners that are feasible. Tonga Garmonte is now friends. Good. Wiedenberg calls for faith, maybe. Lupe de Chael is growing, and Minsk has grown. Minsk, excellent. Uh... Yeah, that's okay. We're not going to have a new person tile in a little while. And the production's going to be important right now. i got to get these buildings out. And you grew too, Luko Yudistichu. We're on production focus? Yeah. I'm making sure I'm allocating this problem. What the hell? Why are you working that, you dumb punk? Do this. There you go. 11 turns. Much better. Nove. Yeah, you're fine. And you're... Wait, you actually are growing now? What the hell? I thought you weren't growing anymore. That's okay. All right, so Narbo. Yeah, I need to get some workers out here in Narbo, actually. If I finish down here, everyone's going to take the crossing to Narbo and get get all these things farmed up. That's going to be important. Okay, cool. New decision is not yet. I want to get uh, economics. We'll be able to get the Prodnalog. We'll get even more money, which is batshit crazy. So we know how much how many farms we always play with, and that's going to be good. He's going to try to retake the Doyoung, and it's going to be... Eh, it wouldn't be that bad, I think. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble keeping them out of there. Those punks. But we're going to have to really refit our musket core. They took a little bit of a beating there. But, I mean, that was good. That was a distraction. That's kind of what muskets do. They distract while the, uh, the, the hold-the-line guys come in. And now we have the freedom to operate here, pretty much. We can just really go to town. Surround Luoyang, make it defensive. And now we have a foothold in Chinese lands, which is huge. And if we can seriously drive to the capital quickly, that would be such a nice thing, man. Putting the Chinese just down on their shoulder blades. We may not crush them completely, but if we can take away their core of uh, science in Yangcheng, that would just be huge. Huge important. Did you heal instantly, you idiot? Oh, you did, you prick. He's going to try to kill this musket. He may even succeed. Nope, he didn't. Long swords. Okay. Uh, on borders, no. But you have troubles to trade. You want to give me whales maybe for truffles instead? Try that deal. You want truffles? Ah, he took truffles! Nice! He probably has whales from uh, City State, honestly. But still, he took truffles, and that's pretty nice. It's so kind of him. Mm. I like him. He pretty. Let's keep going, though, without being too creepy. Yep. I <laughs> share your conviction that the Aztecs only causes. Yes, you're English. Good. Clearly didn't learn from the British. Didn't learn properly. Malacca has declared war on me. No, not Malacca! I have no, where the hell are they exactly? I have no freaking idea. Take Ping, if they take Pingyang, it'd be amazing, but they're sure as hell not going to. The terrain is far too hard for city states to do a good job on this. And yeah, firing over forest with a treb, no go. Even though historically that's kind of the whole point of trebs, uh, they can do really long distance, so cities can bombard them back with you know hordes of arrows, as the previous uh, era's tactics used to be. But uh, apparently, no longer the case here. Uh, we're going to have to definitely protect Luyang, though. But we have the crossbows to do it. So let's kick some crap out of some stuffs, yes? All right. Uh, you need to make sure he doesn't come near the city. So that's going to be an important job. Oh, wait. We can do this pretty much like that and not have an issue anymore. You are not a triple range guy. So you probably need to move one tile and break more crap. Like that or that. Yeah, okay. Let's get this right. First of all, you're going to need to make a road here. Yep. You're going to need to make a road here. Now... Uh, you're healthy. 
So killing this guy before he upgrades may be a really good idea. You can actually be working on this guy, can you? Oh, really? You can't actually hit him? Son of a bitch. Okay, well, no, you can hit this guy, though, and that'll be an easy kill. Uh, then that'll get some more experience, too. With open terrain, this is going to be work. Let me work. That is serious work. Yeah! Nice! I love having knights. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I love it, baby. All right, uh, in this case, then, let's do that. This guy's going to be annoying. He'll keep whittling the city down, but we can pick him off pretty easily now. All right, let's go here so we can't get anything else in there. Can we kill this? Uh, okay, well, that's fine. We can fire and then move, and that's what logistics is for, baby. Uh, nice. Now, what are you? you're a logistics guy, so we can move you up to You're a logistics guy. You can do work already, and you need to move up to do work. So let's put you up to do said work. We need to get this crossbow down. This guy's not going to be able to fire if he can't. I mean, this guy won't be able to do anything if he can't get uh, past my musket, so that's fine. Can you actually get to a position that I want you to get to? Oh, you can get to here, I guess. So do that. You go up on the road here that is being built. May be able to get this guy down. Like I said, this this melee crap doesn't bother me. It's only a swordsman. Uh, the composites are a little more dangerous. I mean the crossbows. Okay, so this is down. Perfect. You're still in the city, but let me heal you up. It's not going to get taken now, and that's all right. Because we have zone of control on pretty much all of this. Let's do some work on this side. We could probably scare him a bit just to running. Uh, you need to heal up. You need to heal up. And I know I'm leaving this a little less protected than I probably want to. And 20 strength. If he heals instantly, can he possibly take the city? I don't think so. They have that, mind, that massive penalty from attacking cities, so that's not going to be a problem. All right, cool. So now we have roads nearly everywhere getting completed. I don't really need... Oh, Sitting Bull. Good God. I kind of probably need to move him up. What was sitting? Oh, no, you can't go there because there's a worker. Herp, derp. Okay, good. Now, musket. I was moving you south because I probably need you there. And the rest of the trebs are not going to roll in because uh, either I'm going to use trebs in the future or I'm going to have cannons. And either way, life is good. So this worker really doesn't need to be here since apparently the worker's already doing the job. So why don't you come out here and continue farming? He's like, that's what I was doing, damn it. Make the right decisions the first time. I'm sorry. That is what I do. I make, uh, I make decisions, then I second guess myself, then don't make the same decisions twice. Uh, or I do that and actually slow everything down. I'm not even certain what I'm talking about right now. It's okay. He's got no. Just give me that research. Give me that tasty, tasty research. And we're going to get more and more money as these banks are coming online. Booyah! We need great scientists in three turns. So, yeah, our science is going to be kicking up pretty, pretty handily. And the new policy in seven is going to be huge as well. Mm, we are annexing a bunch, so the policies are going to come slower and slower, but it's all right. Yeah, give me a farm there. And we're going to steal this from... Yeah. Okay, we stole that. Good. Victoric wasn't using it anyway, so it's alright. No one cares. Okay, so farm. No, Ravenna. I guess trading post or a, a mine. Let's do a trading post. You are gold centric, aren't you? And this is probably going to be a trading post too at this point. Treb. Yep, you can't do anything, so we'll worry about you later. Uh, you can't do anything, so we'll worry about you later. Knight. Yep. Keep going south. I'm going to need these guys to be very mobile offensive units very shortly. I feel like I'm going to need to do that. And Luyang should not be taken at this point, so it'll be all right. And that knight in there is going to help as well. Is that a medic or something on somebody? Why does a knight heal 25? I guess, do you get a bonus for healing inside the city? That may be true. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe a religion thing. Is it a religion thing? I'm trying to figure out. I know these mechanics, I swear. No, <laughs> Maybe. All right, so we took Luoyang. That's already our... I mean, again, too many syllables in that word again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but we took Luoyang, and now we can move west and liberate and then move east. I think we could probably take Shenyang pretty easily. The issue here is that Feng is going to keep reinforcing uh, units against me. I may move the knight in here, pillage the road that's here, and come out. It's going to be dangerous work, but it's going to be really important. Belgrade has a new ally. Australia has replaced Hun. Oh, I can make peace with Belgrade. Awesome. Okay, so that guy actually tried to take the city, as you saw. Came very close, but no, no cigar. <sighs> do you have actually flat money for this? You do not have flat money for crap all. All right. All your money. Wait, will we make this deal work? Oh, open borders. I don't, want, I don't want open borders, though. I want more, more flat gold. Is that everything? Yeah, it is everything. All right, so let's go, I guess. No, let's count this down. Six, probably. No, really? Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Fine. 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 His yes, military strength is not high. 
So as long as I keep pushing my advantage, despite his technological superiority, I just may have sheer numbers on my side, honestly. And that'd be nice for a change. Normally I'm the, I'm the other side of that coin. Normally I'm the high tech guy with, uh, you know, Monty breathing down my neck with like 50,000 units I have to keep chewing through. Feel like I'm like murdering an entire generation, which I technically am sometimes, kind of scary. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep working Suka on door. Our first three range guys there. The other guys will start moving west. Well, these guys move forward and get logistics. Yes. Excellent. Economics. Cool. So we are first of all enacting that. Prodnalog. More money, please. Six hundred eighty-nine gold per turn in a golden age, people. That's how you do it. Oh. So sexy, so much money. It's that's just wow. Damn. All right. Damn. We're gonna buy a windmill here because God knows I have the money for it. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Holy crap, that's a lot of cash. Windmill here for the tourism, and windmill also uh, to get the buildings out faster. I think I need to windmill pretty much everything here real quick. What? Let's go through the cities that can control. Queue up windmill. Uh, like that. Uh, normally, I wouldn't build these too much because I don't particularly care. Let's get a lighthouse up. You never know when it might come in handy. There and there. But uh, because it gives me tourism, I'm extra keen on building them. And since I will have time to build everything, uh, it wouldn't be bad to get those things out regardless. Just to get all the other buildings up sooner. Simbirsk, Windmill. Excellent. Yep. Our, our science is going to take a little bit of a backseat. But it's alright. The uh, tourism is going to be huge from this. And like I said, that's why I'm less worried about... Uh, you're fine there, yeah. Uh, I'm less worried about... You know what? Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that for him. You're growing a little slow for my taste. Uh, that's good. Um, what was I saying? Yes, I'm less worried about burning the great uh, artists for various other things like um, Golden Ages since I have really a solid, solid foundation of tourism from these unique abilities and unique buildings that Lenin has, so... Pretty good, pretty good all around. I wish I can probably get this thing at the university and crank out the rest of the buildings faster. Uh, windmill, yep, still gonna be a priority. You know, I might actually get the windmill here and just buy one. I don't have gold to buy this. Okay, next turn. Uh, I hate doing this. I'm gonna like forget and I'm gonna feel stupid. I'm gonna derp out, aren't I? All right, whatever. Let's put you here, I guess. Where's the really important stuff? Library. Yeah, right after the library, let's do that. Well, actually, the forge, maybe, because that's production, too. Let's do it like that. Yep. Narbo. Yeah, I can't build by the windmill here, either. Narbo's definitely going to need a windmill at some point. So both Narbo and Luko need that. Ah, crap. Now what I'm meant to do. Other city. Toulouse. Toulouse. Toulouse can get a windmill pretty quick, I think. It'll be all right. After the stoneworks, is fine. And Moscow. Okay, good. So, now that that's done, who do we run out of research agreement with? With Robert one the Bruce. Well, let's talk to the Bruce. Hey, bruh. The disgust. You want... No, 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 no. I want deal. I want research agreement. You have not enough money. He needs 86 gold. All right, bucko. Let's do 86 gold. Here's 86 gold. Just whatever. Buddies. We're pals. Uh, research agreement. Yeah? Nice. Thank you. I'm still in the Renaissance. who didn't actually get me, like, the... Uh, the whole, I'm going to screw you over because I'm sad that you have more science than me kind of spiel. Okay, so we're going to steal, pillage, some money. 11 gold. Like, I really need more money at this point. But I'm not complaining. Uh, take some shots of Stuttgart on door. Another general. Awesome. I was thinking, I really want to general bomb this off. I want to use these tiles, and I want to control my sea lanes. So what I'm probably going to do is actually general bomb here near Apulon, and then have a controlled space over the sea. I would love to get here, but he's nowhere he's going to give me open borders, I think. If he is, then he's an idiot and I'm going to general bomb him, but we'll see. Where did that general get born? Ah, we'll figure it out. Peace treaty expired and open borders from El Nato ended. Godiskanza has grown and Iskar has grown. Let's take out Iskar first. He's still growing really good, so that's that's fine. Really well, sorry. I'm not ignorant of the English language, I promise. And Godiskanza. Excellent. Yep, keep doing that. You're making a lot of money there, friend. And we're going to go to the workshop shortly. All right, what else? Mushketman. Mushketman is good there. What are you? You are not what I want there. I need my triple range guy to be there. So you need to kill this because it's getting annoying. Thank you. 
You're a triple range guy. You're not a triple range guy, so I'm gonna take this knight out here and have him heal while triple range, triple open guy goes here. Sorry, there's, there's a lot of triples that I'm working with right now. Triplets? Excellent. Uh, go here. Okay, we block that off. All right, now Lo Yang is safe. We're completely surrounding the city. This guy can start working. General can go in the city, as is his want. How close are you to actually finishing this? Ah, road, good. And you are finished the road? Excellent. Now we can move forward very, very aggressively. Uh, and start really controlling these lands. All right, and this this guy is going to have to do some pillaging this night, so i got to be a little careful what I do with that guy, but he'll be all right. And now those crossbows will lock this down, and then the trebs can start moving in. So we more or less abandoned um, positions in our home turf, more or less. So we got to be a little careful with how far we push out. I don't want to be called my pants down uh, for, I guess, defensive warfare. But again, the sheer amount of cash we're making more or less militates against us being taken by surprise. Because I can basically buy an army in like two turns at this rate. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, about that. It's going to be good. But I think I heard a great general somewhere, so i got to get me some of that. Right now it's the Aztecs. He's going to make peace. He did that. He did that. New scenes available. What decisions do we have still available? Still Diwali. And, oh, we need to be in the industrial era for that. Okay, we're getting there. Super quick. Right person to be born. Ah, crap. Well, made that error. Did not mean to right-click that, but I will figure out where he is sooner rather than later. You are not going to sit there and get pegged again. As much as you liked it last time, don't. You hit me again. All right. Um, you, yes, yeah, so you're gonna farm. That's good. That's good. Give into your hate. We'll make another farm there, and actually, I should be able to use that tile for a change. Great general, known as great general. Great general, go down here, and then we'll see if the goths can give us open borders. And if they will not, which is what I'm pretty much guessing is gonna happen, then we'll talk. Oh, we hit this guy. Cool. Hit me. Come get me. I buy butt. She bit me. All right, and this will make the night a lot easier in pillaging this thing, I think. This will be one... Oh, I don't mean two movement. That's on a road, so this will be pretty quick. Let's just keep him there for now. <sighs> Excellent. All right, so now my military machine can move very, very readily here. Through here. You're still healing good. Hey, another knight can always use you as backup movement. Good. You wait for a minute. You wait for a minute. Excellent. Next turn. Keep on keeping on. All right. Oh, God. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think the Chinese counter stroke is going to happen. Like I said, until I see really advanced units, uh, this offensive should be relatively simple. Once I clear that, I'm probably going to set up a triple range there, triple range there, triple range there, and just beat the crap out of Shenyang. I'll leave these guys, the logistics guys, to handle anything that's coming from there. And I'll likely not upgrade to to Gats until I need to. Young Cheng may be hard to take at 50 strength. I can still probably slow siege it down as long as the military isn't too big. Hi, faded. How dare you call my olives faded? Uh, what do you want? Six now, I guess. So you're gonna like that? Wow, your background stream is really loud, Paul Kruger. Very, very loud indeed. Damn. Yes, let's work together. Too bad you're gonna die soon. I mean, I'm going to miss my friends when they're gone. I truly, truly will. <coughs> no. Don't even... Don't you even be fronting, son. That is not... That is not going to happen. <laughs> at all. Ow! Uh, I'll become a nuisance. Uh, no interest for the moment. Because I already kicked his ass. And I would really feel bad just absolutely wrecking him. But you can totally go to town on him. That's, that's more than okay by me, man. You've got borders with him. He's cool. If I can get open borders and shove my general right there, oh, what a coup that would be. I'll see if I can do that and get the pikeman just standing there for now. Harappa, harappa. I'm really glad I didn't lose that musket. That was... That was... Obviously cheeky of me to put him out there, but this is why I need to pillage that road ASAP. Um, for very, very many reasons, one of which being that is kind of freaking annoying. Let's see. Well, luckily I have roads here, so I can deploy my crossbows pretty handily. But, this is, but like I say, Feng is going to be an issue. It's going to be thorn in my side the whole time as I try to push to Shenyang. So, yeah, well, what can you do? All right, now, now... City connection established. Yay, Luoyang is making him some more money. 706 per turn, people. Good God. Good God, y'all. 
Uh, what are you? You're a triple range guy. If I if I basically didn't have to deal with the city, I would be able to kick a crap out of him right now. But I can't, so I won't. Um, why don't you go to the front here and switch out with this guy? You just go back here and try to stay safe, okay, peaches? Peaches and cream, baby. Mm. Uh, let's, yeah, let's bring you there. You still need to be strong. Be strong, young one. And now, let's move some of these guys out. You only have one shot anyway, so. Bop, 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 bop. So I'm doing a little bit of Eminem thing. Later, maybe. Um, I'm getting confused with what I'm moving. Let's fire at the city. Let's do the easy stuff first. I mean, as easy as I guess, I suppose. Knights are going to be taking the city down pretty quick. Good. So, now, uh, the sooner I pillage this, the better, is basically the issue. I'm going to flip. Mm, no, you can just f do that. Oh, that was like the most like, yes, I will. I'm going to keep this guy here because I want to make sure that guy doesn't get pinged off by a knight in some dumbass way. That would be embarrassing as hell. All right, go here and shoot that guy. I can kill that guy with this. Uh, yep, because of the roads. Thank you. And this guy still needs to be able to pillage this at some point. I gotta be... This is not a river or anything weird like that, right? Plantation Road and just Plains Hill. Okay, so when this knight decides to bug the hell out, which is pretty much what they do... Uh, I really want you on the road still, though, so you get advantage of this movement. All right, you stay there, I guess. He's like, I just want to heal. I know, I know, it's coming. Working on west first, then we'll work east. How close are you to promotion? You are... Oh, you got logistics just now. Freaking fabulous. And you have it in a bit. Yeah, logistics is going to be more important now so I can break the lines when they push into me. And after that, it'll be okay. All right, so this is fine with Toulouse. Toulouse, you have farms there now. So why don't we do that? And we need to do that. Uh, you're going to have a farm ready pretty much in a second here. Yep. And then, yep. Okay, so now we can get rid of all these dumbass coast tiles. And get me more useful production and food tiles. And you can now go... That's the city tile. So this is definitely not right. You are being worked right now. I just reset everything. Yeah, okay. So that's just a glitch in display. You can go here so you can actually grow. So what happened now? Why did you suddenly starve again? Didn't I just tell you to work everything with food tile? You're still minus one, aren't you? Okay. Well, I guess we still can't fix that problem until this guy finishes his farm. No, now you're at 19 turns. Okay, because you... I left this guy alone and he didn't want to die. So he decided to work that. Okay. Uh, that'll have to do for now, and then I'll move him here to the farm. Yeah, Toulouse really kind of hit the, the bottom end. You do, have, do you have a granary? You do have a granary. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to meet, maybe feed some food to Toulouse. I'm not even sure, though. It's going to be feasible. What are you? Forest Plains Hill, so not a food tile by any stretch. I can lumber mill this, I guess, and that will be at least one food. Not a bad idea. Can we get open borders from you? That's the question. Hey, buddy. Do you want to give me open borders? No, an embassy. Whoops. He denounced me. That's right. Hey, okay. Back. Trade. Oh, borders? Went over that. No way. All right. Well, I will see if I can crack the gothic nut at some point later. That sounded weird, but you know what I mean. And I will see you all next time. I continue the huge earth TSL with Lenin. Now with 100% more uh, ass-kicking of the Chinese. Booyah. And we'll liberate some Harappans. They'll... I really want to liberate the city myself. I don't want to let them get the glory. But if he's taking some hits off of me, that's pretty good. I need you to move, like, to Vilnius or something, because this is going to be a problem if you start deploying in my general area, buddy. It's going to be a real problem. And you're not going to get open borders, so just you just hang over there and enjoy the fact that you get Sutka Tandor back. All right, I've been Nurse. This has been a huge TSL. I'll see you all next time. Till then.